Mm. All right, so this is another problem, which is kind of common. It's a bit of a more more of a pain to fix, and that's the old wobbly stage slide thing. This thing, this guy, and well, it's an interesting design flaw with this particular brand. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is flip the microscope over on its side like a show. We're going to remove this part first, this little cover. Um, there's a couple of screws in there. If you can see way back there's one, two, and there's a third hidden back there. The third one's like deep back in there. One, put them aside where you can get to them. Two, Let's see, pop that guy off there. It's just like that. And get that guy out of there. Um, oh, I can already tell. This help, will help explain what the problem is here. I found this. This had this little tiny little tiny ball bearing right here that's your culprit so first things first we're gonna remove this tensioning tensioning wire that facilitates that process so it's just gonna be these two screws right here just you don't have to take them all the way off just loosen them pop that forward that'll loosen up the wire enough to pop it out of the little retainer and then Disassemble that and put it aside. I am going to have to take this screw on the right side tensioner all the way out so that I can rotate this out of the way. Then I'm going to put the screw right back into the hole where it came from so I don't have to lose it, keep track of it. Because now I need to remove these. I need to lift this part up and off. It can be on there kind of tightly. So on the back of this part right here is, a, oh, that was easy. Well, if it's on there tight, there's a little spot where you can just jam a screwdriver and just kind of pry it up gently and I'll pop it up. But you don't want to just pop it off real hard because, well, you'll see why in a second. And that there's your problem. See those little balls? See those empty spots right there where there should be balls? <laughs> That's what the problem is. So those balls tension up against this piece and it holds it steady. And if you're missing some on one side or the other, then that side's gonna give it um, room to wobble on. Okay. So I'm gonna just put them over here where I put the other one that I had found on the table. Who knows where the other three went? But that's okay because we have replacements. If you guys see these around the lab, these little ball bearing things, little steel balls, this is where they're coming from. So there's going to be seven on this side and then seven at the top here. So to get to those, you gotta gently just pull that piece up and out. Yeah, it looks like there's. Yeah, I don't see any in that top track there. There's none stuck to those tracks. All right, so it looks like we're, well, we're missing several. And then there's this piece. Um, there's actually two of these in this microscope. There's this one that's for the cross slide this way. And then there's another one in this piece that facilitates uh, this cross sliding, the bottom, the bottom one. And, um, the brass piece for that one is much narrower, and I think it only has eight total ball bearings, whereas this one has uh, 14. So now we're going to go to the microscope tools. So we're going to grab this um, vacuum grease. Any tacky, tacky assembly grease will work. We happen to have this one, and it's benign, so we're using that. And in this bag here. It has 
all the uh, all the parts that we have for replacing the Olympus pieces as needed. And we have a bag in here that has a little baggie that has a bunch of those little ball bearings. There's two bags in there. Um, it's a picture of that part number just in case you need to order it. So we got those two parts and to facilitate this process we're going to need one of these too. It makes it way easier um, and of course that guy. So this part is a huge pain in the butt and to help make it a little easier take this assembly off so all you're working with is this part um, and to do that all you need to do is remove these two allen screws. Alright so I got that part um, this part disassembled and again I put the screws back in here um, not totally necessary but I just do that so I don't have to keep track of them when you're putting this part together this little thing is going to be pointed up so you don't want to end up like putting it all together with this part down after this next part that's a huge headache and then realize you have to disassemble it to get that part facing up so remember this part is pointing up so I'm just going to basically smear a bunch of smear a bunch of smear, a bunch of schmoo in the track there. So, um, apply liberally. So remember, again, this part is facing up. So, put that there, put this guy here, rest it there. And then, basically, I'm going to do my best at lining up the seven steel balls with those holes. Um, and then I'll finagle them better into place later. But I'm going to do my best to line them up along the schmoo, sticking to the schmoo, not this thing, sticking to the schmoo, <laughs> lined up with those placement holes just the best I can. It's not extremely critical, but it makes it easier the closer you can get to it. Alright, so those are pretty well lined up. Now I'm going to gently press this part against there, and that's it for that side. You got to try to just not touch it, just stay. Now for my next trick, I am this time going to schmoo the brass piece. So we don't want to move that top side any more than we have to. So you got to do this kind of gently. I don't know if you can see, but there's a screw right here. And then there's a screw right there. Oh gosh. You don't want the balls to have to go over those because they'll be off track and the whole thing will wobble when you try to reassemble it and it won't go back together. So just wanted to point that out. There's that. All right. So now I'm going to kind of jam this part up against the, the little steel balls here so that, again, so that the track, the balls line up in that track keeping this bit the tension thing towards the front of the micro of the microscope so that way All right. All right and then you want to tighten this down pretty good And see, no play. And you can test it out, make sure, good to go. Again, remember, this part's pointing up towards the top of the thing. All right, so again, we just gotta put this together. I put these screws in place just so I don't have to keep track of them, but now I can take them out. Tension wire for the spinema thing. I do believe that that's actually the, the correct nomenclature. If you're looking up that part, uh, you're looking for the tension wire for the spinema thing on the Olympus CX-21. You guys might miss my humor one day. Probably not, though. Time to put the tension wire on the spinema thing. So, again, first we need to... 
get this thing back in some semblance of order. So, put that guy on there. Don't tighten down the screws, just have them in place so that this thing can freely move. So, we're gonna put the thing back on, a little bent end. It's gonna go through, there's a little spot back there, and you just kinda hook it in there, and you're gonna run it under this thing. So you're always keeping the wire closest to this um, cast iron piece. And up and around, Be kind of a pain, but not too bad. And then push push this part forward so you can kind of grab that and get it in that little right there, whatever you call that. And then pull pull back on this piece, pull back as you tighten down the screws. Give it the tension. More tension the better. It doesn't have to be super tight, but tight enough. And then give those little screws a good tighten. And test it. Make sure it works. Make sure it works plenty good. I'm gonna actually pull back while I'm rotating it because that'll help this wire kind of get placed on this pulley bit. Not necessary, but you're gonna make the best tension if you do that that way. Okay, and that part's good to go. I hope I was recording that. Was I recording? Yes, okay, good. I'm just talking to myself in the universe. Now we gotta put the little cover back on. I think this is actually a good angle for that. And as you recall, I kept the screws in this piece. Make my life easier. So. This screw is gonna to have to go through this hole and into that part. And if you get your screw in the hole first, that's the trick to getting this thing back together. All right, so again, I had kept the screws in here, which I just put to the side over here. Kept them in there to keep track of them. So this part's kind of a pain. Um, get the screw in there first on this back one, and it's gotta go through that screw hole there, which hopefully you can see that. And it's, it's just kind of a pain. You just gotta be patient with it. It's kind of hard to find the screw hole. Uh, let's see. I got it. And when you do, don't tighten it down all the way because you're gonna have to do the same thing on this side. Leave this middle one because it's the easiest. Uh, get a little bit of clearance going. That one I actually found right off the bat, which usually doesn't happen. Even a blind pig, am I right? right? And then you can tighten down those two. And get this middle one. Wobble knot. Nice. Perfect.